Hello my friends, uh, this is tutorial number 34 uh, of this uh, Turbo Pascal programming uh, language tutorials. Okay, uh, we will practice a lit just a little more uh, functions in this tutorial. Okay, maybe you are tired, but I really want to uh, you to, to function to, that you understand it well. Okay, um, and I, I want now to create one more uh, one more function okay uh, you remember from for the tutorial where, where we converted uh, euros to usd to convert it uh, to convert it uh, we can of course do it with uh, uh, we can do it with a function and we will create a function for that okay uh, let's create a variables just a second a variable euro okay uh, we need a variable USD okay and uh, okay it should be it should be uh, good for now uh, they will be they will be a real because it can uh, it easy uh, easily can be our, our reals and now we need a function the name of the function uh, will be a euro euro to usd okay this will be the name of the function and uh, let's uh, let's define okay it will need uh, okay it will be it will have uh, one variable which will be a and it will be a real okay and uh, it will return us a uh, real okay this was pretty much easy and now we need uh, begin and end of the function and we also need a uh, begin and end of our application and of course i need the read line okay and what we need to do now uh, we will have to define our function and how we gonna do that okay and what we will need uh, we will simply uh, we will simply okay uh, we can simply and easily uh, uh, we can simply and easily the okay we will do uh, like this uh, uh, euro to uh, USD will be equal a will be multiplied with uh, if uh, okay it uh, it is more or less 1.2 okay but it's 1.2 okay semicolon and we we defined we successfully defined our uh, our uh, our function euro to USD, but I need to show how how to implement it, and I needed to show you what we can do with functions. The, the, there are a lot of things, and now what we need to do is write line. Okay, we will write uh, enter amount of euro okay and we need to uh, read a line we have a variable euro and now uh, what we need we will simply write line we need to write we enter the, the amount of euro and we will simply type uh, it's supposed that we want to exchange exchanging exchanging uh okay uh and i need a uh, euro uh euro but it's real i need 
two dots four and two dots two. We will do. Uh, we will count with two decimals. And I also need a text uh, euro. Uh, okay, can okay. three dots. And we need to define a variable USD. Okay, uh, USD will be equal and we need to call a function a euro to uh, USD and we simply uh, inside will put euro okay pre pretty much easily just and we will give amount of euro and we will have a, we will have a USD okay and now what we need to do is simply we simply need to write Okay, uh, we suppose that we are in exchange office, okay, uh, you will get, uh, okay, and uh, okay, as a text, and now I need a variable, USD, but it's also a real number, uh, I need to use uh, 2.4 and 2.2, okay. Uh, and now also need a text and I need a text uh, USD and I think that should be fine as you can see that's uh, uh, pretty not too much code couple couple line of, of codes just now I need to uh, to to compile to see if everything is okay and okay where is the error uh, I forgot a real here. Uh, I forgot a semicolon uh, after the real. Okay, now a uh, uh, couple lines of code and we have an error. But what can I do? That's that's uh, that's alive. Uh, okay, and our code is good. And let's uh, let's run uh, our application. Okay, let me see if everything will work pro properly. Okay, enter amount of euro. Okay, we will enter uh, 200 euros. Okay, and let's enter. Okay, e exchanging uh, 200 euros, uh, you will get uh, 240 dollars, which, uh, which, which is good. Okay. Uh, that works fine and let's uh, let's try with a couple more a uh, couple more times okay enter amount of euro okay uh, we'll type 370 okay and let's enter okay as you can see uh, exchanging 370 you will get 444 I suppose that <laughs> I cannot calculate it, it in mind, but we suppose that uh, that it should be good. Okay, if we try, okay, uh, let's let's try. If we uh, try 250, it should be. But okay, we can also okay. It's just 20%. Uh, it's 370, 37, and 37 is 74 and 370 and 74 is 444 it's good but okay uh, uh, <laughs> okay and okay uh, it's good and let's uh, let's try okay uh, okay we can type 250 we will get 300 and let's once more okay just one okay uh, 680 uh, how much we will get? Uh, we will get. It will be. Uh, you will get uh, 816. Okay, 68, and 68 is uh, 136. Uh, okay, it should be. It it works properly uh, like a charm, uh, and uh, I'm pretty much. Uh, and I, I'm sure that you understanding uh, without without any problem, but uh, I really. Uh, we have a couple uh, uh, tutorials. Uh, I really wanted to show you uh, what can we do with the functions. Uh, okay, and I'm 
I am pretty much sure that you understand it now. Uh, we will we will start with pr procedure uh, next tutorial. Okay, it will be exciting. I promise. Uh, uh, and uh, okay, I really hope uh, that that you uh, that you like uh, this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can also. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you have a link in the description and I will see you in the next tutorial.